all for the TK Guillotine here and welcome to my unboxing and review of the JoJo Super Action Statue, Rohan Kishibe, and heavens no! I am so freaking excited about this, so I'm not gonna waste any time talking about how I've recently like fallen in love with JoJo and all that. If you've been on the channel recently, you already know that. But my sister took me to a like comic book store today, and I literally said to myself that if they had any of the super action statues there, uh, if it was a character I liked, I was going to pick it up. I have one of these on the way. This is actually not the one that I bought. Uh, I have another one of these on the way. Coincidentally, another one from part four, because at the moment, part four is definitely my favorite part. But I'm, uh, I haven't watched all the parts or read all the parts yet, though. But at the moment, part four is my, is my favorite part. Uh, but I said that if they had one of a character I liked, that I would get it. And they had freaking Rohan. Who doesn't love Rohan? Oh my god. Freaking absolutely love this guy so much. And uh, yeah, I am so pretty excited about this. This will be my very first one. I thought my the one I ordered was going to be my very first one, but I have no problem with it being Rohan because he's easily one of my favorite characters of JoJo. And uh, this figure looks awesome, and I'm so excited to see how these super action statues come out because the cool thing about JoJo and these super action statues is that they literally made like every single character in this line. You can literally get a figure of like literally any Jojo character you want in this super action statue line, which is absolutely awesome. And since Jojo is such a character driven show and there has so many amazing characters, that is just awesome that you can pretty much get anybody you want in the, in figure form. That is so cool. So I'm so excited to see how this turns out real quick. I will address real quick. I'm sorry about this burn on my hand. It's horrible, but, um, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't ruin the video. Uh, hopefully it'll be going away within the next couple reviews, but I'm so excited about this, man. This looks awesome. And he even comes with this freaking stand. That's so cool. Oh my god, this looks absolutely awesome. So, let's take a look at the packaging here. So we have Rohan, we have Heaven's Door right there, we have Jodo's Bizarre Adventure, I assume that says Diamond, um, Diamond is Unbreakable, Rohan Kishibe, and Heaven's Door on the side. We have an awesome picture of him right there with Jojo. I love the box design on these, these are gorgeous. And then on the back, we have a bunch of product shots right there. We have him with Heaven's Door. We have all these things right here. Uh, he doesn't show him with any of his accessories, but he does come with quite a few accessories. He comes with his manga and his, uh, and his bag right there and all that, his pen. That's awesome. This figure looks really, really, really cool. And I am so excited to see how these figures turned out. I'm excited to see how they stack up to like SHFs and Figmas and all them. So let's get him out. Dude, these are really nicely packed. We got like individual trays and stuff. This reminds me of like Hot Toys packaging. That's pretty cool, like mini Hot Toys. All right, let's pick this guy up for the first time here. Oh, we got a little clamshell here. These are really nicely packaged, man. I hope the figure's as nice as uh, the packaging. These are made by Medicos, I believe, and I have gotten a Medicos figure in the past, and it was pretty damn solid. So hopefully that means that this is also going to be great, and hopefully that means that all the others that I want to get are going to be great. All right, here we go, let's pick him up. Wow, already the quality feels absolutely fantastic. A little bit small, but I mean, it's probably its own like scale for the line right there. He looks great. Already, here he is out of the packaging right here. We do have one little piece of plastic right here to get off. There we go. I can tell you already that the quality of the figure, like the plastic quality and all that feels Absolutely phenomenal. This plastic's a little bit hard to get off though. Alrighty, here is our boy, the creator of JoJo's favorite character as well. Oh man. So first impressions right off of the bat, the arms are a little bit looser than I expect from action figures, but they're not horrible. They don't like flop around when you flop him or anything like that. The plastic quality is absolutely fantastic. The articulation, the feet are pretty nice. They've got some good movement right there. You guys know how much I love my ankle pivot, so that's awesome. Uh, yeah, the design and all that looks great. The likeness to the character is wonderful. He's got his Rohan hair and all that. Some cool little jacket details right here. I will say this is not my personal favorite outfit for Rohan. Rohan uses like wear so many different outfits throughout Diamond is Unbreakable. I think I like his first outfit the most where he has like his like bag and all that and like the he has kind of like the little things like hanging down like coattails hanging down from there. So this isn't my favorite outfit. I wish they would have gone with a bit of I think they, they uh, could have gone with a better outfit but it's still a nice Rohan figure nonetheless. I like the green hair. The head's a little bit loose but overall I'm pretty damn ha satisfied with the uh, quality of the super action statues, I assume this is just about how they're all going to feel, right? And yeah, I feel pretty darn good. A little bit like, they feel a little bit more like fragile than I would like from like a, from like a Figma. Like I'll grab a Figma real quick. Okay, so I grabbed a JJK Figma and an SHF right here. So Yuta and, U and Yuji right here. And first comparing them with a Figma, they don't, they feel 
about the same weight. Maybe he's might be maybe a little bit heavier, but I think the the Figmas and especially SH figure arts do feel a little bit more robust and a little bit like nicer to pose. Like this is this is nice. Don't get me wrong, but the joints are a little bit looser than I would like them to be. But that might just be what the line does. That might just be like the deal with these figures. And already right off the bat, I'm I'm absolutely like not hating it whatsoever. Like it feels really, really nice and satisfying to hold. Like I can definitely get behind it if this is what these uh, figures are going to feel like. But yeah, comparing them with the Figma, they definitely, they work. Like, I feel like this is pretty good height right here between Yuji and uh, and Rohan Kishibe. I don't know, his head might be a little bit too small, but you know how JoJo is. All the characters look a little bit, uh, it's a very stylized show, you know? So I feel like this works. I feel like you could totally put this in with, like, your Figmas in all them right there. Um, Yeah, so far, I'm pretty damn happy with him, but now we get to talk about all the accessories and he comes with a ton of accessories so of course let's not waste any time i know what you guys want to see you want to see heaven's daughter and uh yeah they did a really great job on heaven's door right here oh this looks awesome they even put like uh joints in the knees right here he doesn't have elbow joints but that's okay ball joint at the head he's got his clear hat right there that is just absolutely awesome looking wow that's so cool it should be noted that with most of these uh jojo super action statues most of them don't come with their stands you actually have to buy their stands separately but i think rohan and koichi and a few others actually do include their stand with them which is pretty darn cool and um who else does i think some of the part five ones also include their stand so that's also pretty cool as well but most of them you have to buy the stand separately so that's a little bit unfortunate and kind of you know kind of scummy they're totally like getting like double the double the money out of you but um it is what it is, and this looks awesome. And you do get a stand <laughs> to hold him up, which is awesome. Although I think he can stand up on his own, which I mean, isn't really, it doesn't really need to be able to do that, but I think it can, yeah. It can stand up on its own. There you go, right there. There you go. Oh, <laughs> these are really cool so far. I'm, I'm already really, really enjoying this. The leg ball joint was a little bit stiff, but I freed it up and now it's moving pretty nicely. See, this is this one on this side is a little bit stiff, but yeah, you just gotta free it up and then it moves pretty darn nicely. And yeah, he's got he's got some good posability right there. This is nice already. It's not a very Rohan-like pose, but I'm just trying to get him in a little pose right there. Very, very cool. Okay, let's get some other stuff. Actually, let's go ahead and do the stand right here. Oh my god. That is just gonna throw me off every single time in these in the review of these figures, just talking about stand, this stand, that stand, oh my god. <laughs> All right, so these are really cool. So the thing I really like about these stands is that they include these extra parts in the back right here for you to actually put his stand behind him. So we have this piece right here. Let's see here. Okay, so it goes like this. So you have that piece right there. Let's see here. So you get two of these. So this one is obviously for Heaven's Door, and this one is for Mr. Kishibe. So we'll plug that one in right there. This stands are really cool. It even has like the JoJo Bizarre Adventure right there. And then you plug this into the bag, just like a Figma stand. And then you just put Mr. Rohan down right there. Already loving these figures, guys. I'm already super, super happy with these. I was a little bit worried to get into a new line, but these are definitely not disappointing me. Okay, um, that doesn't want to plug in right there. Where do you plug in at? Hmm, that's not like... One second. Oh, he's got his own little stand! Look at that! <laughs> that's kind of cute. So what are these other pegs for? Okay, whatever. Um, and then we can just put Heaven's Door. Where's his little, where's his little peg hole at? Where's his little peg hole at? Oh, he doesn't have a peg hole. He has a claw. He has a claw. You're scared of the claw. Here we go. Put the claw on there, and you just gotta clip him on there. Oh, he goes right on there too, look at that. And there you go. <laughs> there you have him with Heaven's Door. That's really cool and all, but I kinda wish that they had been able to put, put it in there. I don't know, hang on, let me, get, let me try something real quick. All right, here's a Rebel Tech arm. Let me see if this plugs in right here. Nice, okay. And then let me see if I can plug this claw onto right here. There we go, and will this work? Ba -ba -da -ba. Yep, right on, there you go. So if you have some amazing Yamaguchi figures, which are pretty great figures, so not too bad, um, then you can totally have this going on. Let me, let me get it all situated real quick. 
There you go. It's not perfect, but I think it works pretty good. You could totally use the little baby stand that they included if you want to, but I don't know. This is pretty nice, and I kind of like having them all together, so that, that's pretty cool, but we'll just put Heaven's Door on his little stand for right now just to continue here. There we go, and pop that on right there, and there we go. So there you have Heaven's Door, we'll just put him right there. And then in this bag, we also have, I think this is his like rough draft that he uh, shows Koichi in the first episode that he's in right here to get them to open up with Heaven's Door. There we go. Oh yeah, you can see, you get like two different ones right here, which is pretty cool, and then just that, okay. So you just get some like little manga panels right there, which is pretty darn cool right there. And we'll just put those right there. All right, let's go over his alternate head next. We have a little angry head right there, which is pretty darn cool. And we can just pop that off right there. Very easy, very tiny ball joint right there. Well, we just pop that on. Very easy to switch out. I don't really like that head. That doesn't really, that doesn't really look like a uh, Rohan to me. He was a very happy guy most of the time. But yeah, you get that. That's pretty cool. But I'm going to leave on the default one right there. Very, very nice. Very easy to switch. I like that. All right, next up, let's go over our alternate hands right here. So we actually get some for uh, for Heaven's Door as well, which is pretty cool. But we get some right here. We got some relaxed hands, and we've got a peace hand, which is pretty darn fun. And a little splayed out hand right there. We have this hand for him holding his pencil right there. So let's see how easy the hands are to switch. So we just pop it off. Okay, very easy to switch. I like that. You guys know how much of a fan I am of that. Yeah, they just go right on there. Ooh, a little bit difficult towards the end right there. You want to be careful because you don't want to break it. There we go. All right, hands are a little bit scary to switch. They kind of take a little bit more force when you get to like the end of the peg right there, at least for these ones. So maybe don't switch the hands too, too much. Or if you need to switch them, you could maybe want to go in there and widen up the peg holes a little bit. Not too much because you don't want it to be too loose, but probably wouldn't hurt to widen up the pegs a little bit to make it a little bit easier to uh, switch them out on. I do think one of his legs is a little bit longer than the other, and you guys know how much I fucking hate that, but that is what it is, and I'm sure you could probably make it work since he's got a, a stand. <laughs> get it, get it? <laughs> All right, anyway. <laughs> we also get some alternate hands for Heaven's Door as well, which is pretty darn cool. We got a pair of splayed out hands. You get both of these, and you get a pointing finger right there, which is pretty darn cool. Let's see how easy it is to switch Heaven's Door's hands right here. Pop that out, and give him the pointer finger. Very, very cool. That's really neat. So, you can get... Oh, that little stand is, does not it does not have a great balance, but very, very cool right there. That's really cool that they included some uh, alternate hands for Heaven's Door as well. I definitely very, very much like that. They definitely like treat this like a two-pack. And it's pretty cool because I don't think he's that much more expensive than like uh, one of the single uh, of the uh, SAS figures, which is really darn cool. So far, I'm super happy with this. This is a really, really cool figure. We still have quite a few more accessories to go over here, though, so let me just move all these out of the way. All right, we also get his pen right here for making his manga right there, so we can go all crazy manga mode. Let me see if I can get this to work right here. So we get, is this his, uh, yes it is. Okay, so we'll pop out this fist. We'll pop on this hand. That one went right on, actually, that's nice. And then hopefully, it's always kind of difficult to get a pen in the hand, but hopefully they did it right here. Uh, that's not 100%, hang on one second. There we go, that wasn't hard at all, right there. Got it right in his hand right there. So that is pretty darn cool. Oh, this is great, man. This is so, so great. I feel like Rohan was such a good one to start the collection on. Because, I mean, like, everybody loves him. He's so great. He's the, he's the creator's favorite character. And, uh, I mean, yeah, he's just a great one to start with. Um, I feel like the one I, I picked as well was, is also going to be a great one to start with. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. You guys have to wait for that review. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm totally happy with Rohan being the one that started it. And we're not done. We still got two more accessories which is really cool they definitely give they they definitely load you up definitely give you your money's worth you get his like uh what, what was this again was this like his like mobile his like um on the road like manga kit that he made i don't know he, he did always have like a little bag on it but i just thought it was a bag i didn't know it was like a it was like a little manga journal or whatever so let's see here so you can just bring that up over his arm right there and might have to take his head off. Yeah, it looks like you have to take his head off. Or you can just put it like that as well. But let's take his head off and get that. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Dude, this is a really, really great figure. I am super excited. 
I am super excited to collect these, man. That looks so great. This is so cool. Oh, man. And then you also get his camera right here, which is also pretty cool. Oh, my God. Is this JoJo on it? Look at that. That's awesome. That is really, really cool. You can, like, put that over his head if you wanted to. Oh, my God. You get so many, like, cool, like, display options. I love when action figures give you stuff like this, like this uh, Utah figure. Uh, he came with like his like um, his like his sheath that you could put over his back. And I just really like that because it gives you a lot of like options. And yeah, stuff like this is really, really cool, man. And you also get a really nice instruction manual right there. So if you have any problems, that is really, really easy. Okay, so uh, let's do some comparisons right here and then we'll jump into the final thoughts. Alrighty, so for comparison, first up, let me bring in a Figma here. Here is Figma Rimuru. And here is, once again, the SH Figure Arts Yuta Okotsu right here, just so you can see how he scales with SH Figure Arts and Figmas, the two uh, most, like, well-known and popular, like, anime action figures right here. And again, I feel like this works. I feel like the scale is pretty good right here. Like, he might be, like, overall, the line might be scaled down a little bit, because, like, you can see, like, the head is a lot smaller than both Rimuru and Yuta right here, but I still think it works. I still think you could actually, absolutely, like, if you wanted to make, like, a Rohan versus Rimuru fight, or, like, I don't know, hell, they have a Kira one of this that I definitely want to get. Have Kira versus Rimuru. I mean, as cool as Kira is, that's not really a fair fight, but <laughs> it's still, you could do it if you wanted to, which is the point. Uh, and it's really cool that they give you, like, Heaven's Door and all that, like, okay, I'm I'm just spoiling my thoughts on the figure right now, but um, yeah, I, I feel like you can totally use the scale at your uh, to your advantage and use it in other things. I mean, like at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I mean, they still kind of they still look like they go perfectly together. We'll do a few more comparisons though. Here's Kaiji and Mikasa, both Figmas right there. Again, I feel like this works fine. Like, and I love the stands. The stands are one of my favorite things about these because of the the little like JoJo emblem they've got them. That's so cool. Like Figmas, they can't even put like the 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 name of the show or anything or the character on the thing right there. I love that they did that with that. That's such a above and beyond little thing right there. You got Heaven's Door in the background going like this way. Go to the alley, but don't turn around. <laughs> But yeah, really, really cool. I think they work for just fine with Figmas, definitely. I mean, at least Rohan right here. We'll see about future ones, but I think it works. Alrighty, with that being said, let's get into the final thoughts on this. So we'll start off with my final thoughts, my final current thoughts on the line as a whole. This being my very first uh, JoJo SAS right here. So my overall thoughts, my overall like first impressions of this line is very, very positive. There's a few things that I think are a little bit off on this. I feel like some of the joints overall are just a little looser than I would personally like. I have a ton of action figures, so I'm kind of accustomed to like a certain like tolerance level, like Yuta right here. Like he's got really nice, solid joints. They don't bend too easily. Compared to Rohan here, it takes like almost no effort to move these joints and that goes with his leg his head as well all of it just feels a little bit looser than I would personally like but it's not a deal breaker the sculpt and the and the paintwork and all that is on point it looks absolutely fantastic I love the stands they're high quality they're really really nice the inclusion of the accessories overall are fantastic I feel like they've actually maybe even beat Figma here at least with Rohan because he just has a ton of accessories ton of different display options it's really really awesome even including the stand right there very, very cool, man. Um, so overall, my, my, my first impressions on the line overall is very positive. I'm definitely excited to pick up more of these. And my opinion overall on Rohan is also super positive. This is a really, really, really cool figure. I mean, he pops so well. Again, the accessories are all great. I mean, pretty much just everything I said about my overall thoughts on the line apply here. He's really, really cool. As a JoJo fan, I love this figure. I think it's so freaking cool. Though you got tons of posability options. The accessories just give you a ton of different things to do. The stand is awesome. The value for money, I think, is pretty good. These are a little bit more expensive than, like, SHFs and Figmas. Not too much, though. They're about the same price as Figmas, actually. Um... But overall, I mean, I'd say Figmas feel a little bit more, a little bit less fragile, but I don't think he feels fragile or anything like that. And most of his joints are on ball joints. So if they pop off, you just pop them right back on. So, and I mean, the Heaven's Door is great. The paintwork overall is awesome. The accessories, they even giving you, giving you accessories for Heaven's Door and all that. This little thing that you put around his, his head. This is great. This figure is absolutely fantastic. This was such a great one to start off my JoJo SAS collection. And now I'm, I'm so excited to get the other one that I have coming. Um, 
Yeah, this, this is awesome, man. This is absolutely awesome. I guess I, I think I've got to go with like a S tier. We'll go S plus, but I don't feel like there's much wrong with him. He's super, super freaking cool. And I mean, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm super satisfied with this. I'm super happy with all the decisions I made today to go to the comic book store and to pick this guy up. It was literally like, like as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, there, yep, getting that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think I made a great choice for my, uh, my first, um, my first JoJo as a yes. So there you have it, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like and subscribe for some more JoJo figure reviews in the future and other anime figure reviews in the future. And let me know your thoughts on in the comment section down below. And with that being said, this is DK Guillotine, uh, signing out.